Meanwhile, the University of South Florida has launched a measles simulator that shows what an outbreak would look like across the state of Florida if vaccination rates continue to drop. 10 News reporter Liz Crawford wanted to see what that looked like for Tampa Bay, and the results are alarming. Not vaccinating your child doesn't only endanger you, it endangers other children. With measles cases rising and vaccination rates dropping, Dr. Karen Liller didn't want to talk hypothetical. She wanted real numbers and real results. Using data from the Florida Department of Health, this simulation shows what an outbreak would look like in the Tampa Bay area with current vaccination rates. So over the course of nine months, that right, is. Right, 266 days. We're looking at maybe uh, 16 or so cases if the vaccine rate stays the same. But look what happens when you drop vaccination levels just 10%. In nine months, the entire Tampa Bay area is permeated with measles cases. We have jumped from 16 cases to 18,673. And that is a, you know, absolutely huge jump. This is Tampa, St. Petersburg, Clearwater. That's right. A slight drop in vaccination rates could be the difference between tens or thousands of measles cases. How could the public health system contain this? if this were to become a reality. You can run the simulation across any metropolitan area in Florida. The model can show the impact of policies before you do them. Something Dr. Liller thinks we need sooner than later. We don't want to do anything that tramples on rights, but I think they have a real role to take a look at what's allowed in Florida and what we might need to do. But if it keeps going up like that, we are going to see a child die of measles. It just, it's just terrible, I think, that we allow a child to die of a disease that is entirely preventable. You know, something else Dr. Liller and I talked about was how uninformed we all are when it comes to measles. Now, Courtney said it earlier that in 2000, we pretty much eliminated measles here in the U.S. Yeah. So that means we weren't talking about it. We weren't hearing about it. Doctors weren't treating it. So we weren't talking about it. We don't have that awareness now. So some people think, oh, it's just a rash, no big deal. And that's really not the case, especially for young children and babies. Measles could be deadly. And then when you hear that expert say someone's child will die, it's just absolutely chilling. Mm -hmm. Scary for parents. Good information, Liz. And we have put a link, by the way, to the Florida measles simulator right on our website if you want to check that out. You can take a closer look at what would happen here in Tampa Bay or other cities all across the state.